Hey folks, I'm going to give you a quick video tour through the new features in Analyzer 2.6. So the first big new feature is we now export head rotation from Analyzer. So if you're using a static cam video that has uh, head rotation and head movement, um, you can actually parameterize and kick out the parameter data for the head motion. So that can then be applied in Retargeter. Uh, to use that new feature, you actually don't have to do anything new. You just create a new job in Analyzer 2.6 or above track the video using auto track or the pro tracking tools and then parameterize and that's going to kick out data for you to use in retargeter uh, the other big new feature is we now have a couple of new markup groups we have one for the jaw which is going to track the jaw line here or the bottom of the chin i guess you could say um, now the reason we haven't done this in the past is because truth be told the jaw line is not in a perfectly accurate depiction of where the jaw is um, however most of the time it's a pretty good look at it so what we've done is instead of using texture tracking only for the jaw and the chin we've added a new shape tracking markup group here for the jaw so now you can track these points uh, throughout your video and that's going to give you a new parameter set in retargeter called jaw params that you can use to independently retarget the motion of the jaw now this is optional um, so when you're creating a new job you're going to go to the advanced tab and select a new analysis definition and in the assets folder in the analyzer installation directory you now have uh, three definition files you have the default which includes the uh, traditional markup groups uh, as well as head all of these will include the head group uh, analysis definition with jaw and then you have with jaw with cheeks okay and creating a new job with one of those files will add your optional markup groups. Now if you don't use these markup groups you are still getting data for the cheeks and the jaw, don't worry. But what this gives you is independent control over those groups which is really handy for uh, kind of really really high level animation. Now it does take a little more work to track these groups because they do not work with auto track. Uh, if you auto track the face you'll still get some tracking data for the jaw as well as the cheek groups uh, but it's not going to be perfectly accurate. We hope to um, add these into the auto track feature in the future, but in your first test, just be aware that auto track is not going to work with the new groups. Um, the cheeks markup groups are more advanced uh, simply because you don't actually have shapes on the face to track properly with the cheeks. So I'm going to do another video dedicated to showing you how to use cheek markup group. Um, the other thing to be aware of with this feature is it's not. Uh, you cannot easily switch between these markup groups in the middle of the pipeline. So if you're in the middle of a project or you have a, a big deadline coming up, I don't recommend jumping right into using jaw and or cheeks uh, markup groups uh, because you can't switch a currently going project. So you'll need to start all your new jobs with this markup scheme and then all the way throughout Retargeter uh, as far as which character setup files you're using and what shared poses and, and things of that nature. Uh, you'll have to kind of commit to using one scheme and then use it all the way through the pipeline. So definitely do some tests just because it's awesome and it produces some really, really cool animation. Um, but just be aware that once you commit to a scheme, you have to use that throughout the whole pipe. Another big new thing is the new job process has been sped up by about seven times, meaning it'll be about seven times faster than it was before. This is a huge thing if you're working with a lot of big videos. Uh, if you're working you know, with 1080p or higher resolution and you're working on thousands and thousands of frames, uh, previously the new job process could take a long time just because it's so much data to work with. So we've actually gone in and reworked that whole process so it should be significantly faster for you now. Uh, that's the same with Analyzer Batch as well as in the application itself. They should both be a lot faster. Now, the next new thing is Analyzer Batch now has a brand new command called Track. So there's going to be a separate video that will kind of go over the details of that. But the important thing is you can now track and auto track with the Batch command independently. So before you could use the New Job command and then you could opt to auto track when you created the new job. Now you have a new command specific to tracking where you can load in custom tracking models generated with the pro tracking features here when you train. Uh, and then exporting them. Uh, and then you can actually batch track a whole bunch of jobs loading up your custom models and then uh, all of the kind of features that go along with that. So very, very handy. Now another new feature is on the export landmark positions. 
there's some new data in the analyzer feature file. You now have the width and the height of the video, which is a, a small thing, but it's you know kind of a, a big deal for automating an entire pipeline just to have a little bit of extra information. Uh, if you're not familiar with the analyzer feature file, you create this by going to File, Export Landmark Positions, and this actually kicks out the X and Y values for every single uh, landmark point. Um, now, since I'm using the new markup group, you can see this one actually includes the jaw, so very useful. Um, this is actually the kind of the only feature that Analyzer has that allows you to generate data that doesn't need to be used exclusively in Retargeter. So we have some uh, users who are using this to drive shaders or to drive uh, another layer of controls or even to retopologize scans. There's a lot of really interesting stuff you can do with it, so experiment with that feature a bit. Uh, there's a couple other great tweaks too. You can now open a job as well as create a job from a network location in Analyzer. Um, previously it only worked locally, so now you can open or create new from your network, which is very handy. Uh, if you're working with a video that's unsupported, um, such as a codec that we can't support, um, or just maybe it's a corrupt video or some kind of thing like this, it'll now give you uh, better messaging just so you know exactly what's gone wrong. Uh, if you can't connect to our server for some reason, it will now give you more specific information about why so that we can help you better. All right, so that about covers it for Analyzer 2.6. If you have any trouble using the new features or you just have some questions, you know where to find us, support at facewaretech.com, or you can always visit our website for more information. Uh, for using this new data from Analyzer, you're going to want to watch the new tutorials for Retargeter as well, which will be coming out shortly. So enjoy the new features, and we hope you guys can create some awesome stuff.